My name is Pete Edwards, and uh, myself and Doug Hoy uh, started Silver Scene Players um, back in 2012 with the play 12 Angry Men. Um, uh, Doug and I uh, started it up, um, we co-directed, and we were both, both in the play. It was, uh, for me, one of the, the, the great moments of theater in my life, and we got to do so many fun things with that. We were doing this 12 Angry Men, we needed a company to name to put one to it. We wanted to do fun things. What was our dream? What was our passion? We both wanted to do 12 Angry Men because it was a silver scene classic. You know, it was one of those movies that you see and it influenced your whole life. We're not doing it for ourselves or for the company. So at the end of every play, we donate all the money to uh, a worthwhile charity. Uh, 12 Angry Men happened to be uh, uh, food banks from Union County. And that was, it was just wonderful to give back. And, uh, and because of that mission, we actually got to perform that play in the Union County Courthouse, which is a 110 year old uh, courthouse. And it's just a, the perfect setting for the play. We kind of th was trying to throw, out, throw on a few names and one thing that just stuck was Silver Scene Players because we wanted a chance for adults to have all the fun opportunities that kids have. Because you know what? Sometimes adults need to be kids and have fun too. Uh, hi, I'm Lindsay Caprita and I play Princess Winifred in Once Upon a Mattress. My name is Nebby Brown and I play Prince Dauntless in Once Upon a Mattress. I'm Laurel Olson and I am Queen Agravain. My name is Liz Hammond, and I will be playing the Jester. My name is Emily Terry, and I'm playing the Minstrel. My name is Kim Anarino. I have the honor of playing the Wizard in uh, this year's musical. My name is Herb Fisher, and I'm playing the part of King Sextimus in the Spawn Mattress. My name is Tim Allen, and I play Sir Harry. Hi, I'm Brian Luke. I'm the music director for Once Upon a Mattress. My name is Emily Pierce, and I am the choreographer for Once Upon a Mattress. This is my first show with Silver Scene Players. Uh, I found it through Facebook, because um, there's a bunch of little groups on Facebook that are like, audition here, please, we're desperate. And I'm also desperate, so I go to all of them. I just followed a bunch of different theater groups on Facebook, trying to get back in the game, because I've been out of the game for a very long time. And finally, Silver Scene popped up somehow. And it was actually local, not like, Columbus Suburban. This is my first production with Silver Scene and I found out about it because I partake in the Sync Stations and at our show um, they came in and, and talked about the group so it's exciting that we have a group in town that's doing musicals. This is my first show with Silver Scene Players. Um, I moved to Marysville about three years ago um, and heard about you guys on Facebook so I was excited that they were doing a musical this year. This is my second show with the Silver Scene Players and it's been a lot of fun so far and I like doing community theater and taking the motorcycle out and going for cruises and yes, yeah, pretty much takes up all my time between that and work. I've been involved with Silver State Players probably four years. My first play was Our Town, I played uh, Joe Stoddard and uh, my first scene uh, was with the director of this play, Pete. I've been involved with Silver Scene Players since its inception. Uh, the first show we did was um, 12 Angry Men which we actually got to perform at the Union County Courthouse. I've done just about everything you can do with this group. I've been on the producer's board. I have directed. I have written. I have performed. Is this your first production with us? With it is. Okay. And it's my first musical. This is my first musical okay. and my do you, first production. Do you have production. a theater background at all? Yeah, you know, in my 20s and in early 30s, um, I did a lot of uh, drama and dinner theater with uh, my church. And okay. then I got busy with the business of taking care of babies. Sure. And so fast forward, it's 20 years later, I'm pushing 50, and I thought, gosh, maybe I'm gonna have a minute now with kid number three, you know, almost out of high school, the other two off, uh, to do something for myself and to get back into it. I did musicals, that's what I always did, and got to do it professionally like I got paid a few times so I so but then I had all these children and had to take a break and so then when something came up that was local that was a musical that 
I knew Carol Burnett had done. I knew one of the songs that she had made famous. So I was like, yeah, let's go do that. And it worked with my schedule. My husband can take care of children two nights a week instead of every night. And so <laughs> all those things just kind of lined up. And so I was really glad when I got cast because I was like, this one actually works. So it would be really nice if I actually got a part. I have a bachelor's in music education. I did, um, musicals in high school and in college, but it's been 12 years since my last musical. Um, I've got four little ones at home, four little boys, and I teach private piano and voice lessons for the last 12 years. I was kind of leery about doing it, and we started an improv group, and my wife encouraged me to do this a couple other people because I really wasn't going to. And then I finally, she said, just do it, you know you want to. And then I just went to auditions. Well, I've been a theater mom for quite a few years now. My uh, youngest daughter, who's now a teenager, she's done, gosh, she's probably got eight musicals under her belt. And she's a voice student, so she's just loved this stuff. And I've got to watch, you know, from the audience. Um, so I kind of got involved with theater that way. It's always looked so much fun, and I'll tell you, it looks way easier than it is. That's what I'm learning. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> it's hard. I did White Christmas. Um, it was a couple years ago. I met David actually through um, White Christmas. He was doing the sound um, and lighting for that show. He actually called me up uh, for the part of Frank Luby for uh, all of my sons. So that's how I actually got into silver scenes was through David. I knew as soon as I heard Once Upon a Mattress, uh, I like musicals, uh, I, I like singing and dancing and uh, all that sort of aspect that goes with it. And as soon as I heard that, I knew I was gonna be auditioning for it. I went to some of the silver scene players before I got involved with uh, acting or, or doing music directing. I, I got to see uh, 12 Angry Men when it was performed at the courthouse and I thought it was amazing and uh, approached David Dodds who was one of the producers and, and um, said I'd like to be involved and so I've done a number of things over the years since then with different productions. I have a friend that is typically more involved and they had originally asked her to choreograph but she ended up passing up the opportunity. She asked me if I had any interest in it. And so I started looking into it a little bit more and it's actually been really, really fun. So I'm really glad I said yes. Once Upon a Mattress is about a kingdom um, with kind of a ruthless queen who has complete control and she doesn't want to let go of her reins. So in order to do that, I think she had something to do with the king's curse. So King Sextimus of the court is cursed and he can't talk. How convenient for the queen. Um, and so the queen says that nobody else in the kingdom can get married until Prince Dallas does, and she makes this a really uh, challenging task to be done. It's about a mama wanting the best for her baby boy, who is actually an adult. <laughs> and no woman is good enough, smart enough, pretty enough, or um, princess-like enough for her son. And so she is just, you know, making it so extremely difficult for anyone to pass the test to be good enough for her son. They go on the quest to find the right princess who can meet the wild test of the queen, um, and they find one who is not quite up to the queen's expectations. She's a little rough around the edges from the moats and the swamps, and she comes in and she blows everybody away and actually passes the test. Once Upon a Mattress is such a fun, um, kind of a comical of a musical, um, and I think in the world that we live in where there's so many negative things on the TV and so many negative things in the world. It's so nice to have an evening at the theater where you just have a bit of laughter and a bit of fun and positive enjoyment. I do love this show. I remember many moons ago when I was a wee Lindsay, I saw a high school do it. I don't remember anything about the show except the Fred bits. I remember parts of her doing this or doing that. And I remember her on the mattress like trying to fall asleep and I remember all those little moments so whenever I thought back to the show I would think of those moments and now I get to do them and it's a lot of fun. I didn't get to do one of these in high school you know as a kid and they're so popular in the schools today so here I am I get to do it now but the best thing is I'm doing it with my daughter so my teenager and I are doing this together um, she has told me not to really speak so much because I might embarrass her so you know <clears throat> 
Oh, hey, it's, it's good times. Once Upon a Mattress is a really fun, uh, silly play, and the music is very catchy, but it's not that easy. The music actually has some challenges in it, and uh, we're all working pretty hard, the singers, the orchestra, and myself, on uh, getting the music uh, completely down and, and uh, singing and playing it exactly the way that we want. But it does get stuck in your head and it, it's kind of surprising because none of the songs in it are huge hits that people outside of theater might necessarily remember, but they're all pretty catchy and all of us have had trouble over the work that we've been doing with getting songs stuck in our head for two or three days at a time. I was just excited to get out and meet other theater people. I mean, I, being a stay-at-home mom, I can make my own kids put on productions, but you know, that only lasts so long before they're like, I can't do Sound of Music again, Mom. <laughs> it's great to get out with like-minded people and just do that together. I think once you kind of hit adulthood and you're kind of like, all right, this is what I do now. This is my lane. But you still have all those other things that you love and like to do. And so when there's a chance to go do those other things where you're not just in your lane all the time, it's nice to go jump and do that. Some of the highlights from the show have been working with the cast. It's been so much fun to get to know different people. Um, also just being a part of a musical it brings so much joy and I'm excited to present it to the community. For me, some of the highlights of working with Silver Scene and this group has been the fact that everybody here is genuinely into it. You know, you go to some show sometimes and it feels like some somebody got dragged there or they don't care about this show or they're just there just because and it's sort of like by rehearsal three you were like if you don't leave I will drag you out and here no one's like that everybody is very into this show they want to be in this show and it's refreshing and it you know it kind of boils you up too because you know I want to do a good job for them because they're doing a good job for me my favorite part of the show so far it's it's actually not a scene that I'm in but I love the song swamps of home uh, that's just a fun song and uh, I think everybody's going to enjoy it. Best part of being involved in this for me is getting to be on stage again. My shoes are very dusty. It's been a long time, um, but I feel like it's very important for me as a teacher to continue to upgrade my skills and stay on top of my game so I can teach. Being able to meet all of these new people from all different kinds of backgrounds and then after teaching something and it finally clicks and somebody finally gets this turn that they've been struggling with and you just see like, oh, they finally got it and you can see that on their face. And that's just really, really cool to me. It kind of reminds me of like why I enjoy teaching and why I enjoy choreographing these things. And so it's always really nice to see the personal growth. And it's also just really nice to be able to work with such a great group of people that enjoy theater and that enjoy performing as much as I do. It's been fun to to get to know a lot of different people that haven't been involved with Silver Scene Players before. We've got people from uh, outside of Marysville, from Dublin, I think I think from Urbana. Um, most of the cast are, are new to this group so that's been really fun. It's also been fun to see the enthusiasm for the project because I wasn't, I had heard of this play but I didn't realize how much it was how well liked it was and how excited people would be to have a chance to see it and to uh, perform in it. I'm meeting new people, some from the Marysville community, others who are traveling long distances to even be part of this theater group. Um, I'm singing a little, dancing, and just getting to be silly. Well, I always go to these with the rehearsals are always a lot of fun. You get the camaraderie, you get to know people, and we have a lot of new people in this, so you have to learn how to, to deal with new people too, not, not in a bad way, but I can be kind of loud and joking and stuff, so I have to watch how I do it to see how people react to me. But um, the people are, are very good. There's, um, I think this will be an outstanding play. There's a couple parts in here that the people are perfect for it, and the singing, what I've heard so far is good, the choreography. This is the biggest cast that we've had so far. It is wonderful to see new faces, uh, to get new people involved that may have never done theater before. It's nice to see that we have people coming from a wider range. We actually have a girl in the ensemble that drives here from Lima. And that is a huge commitment and it's a thrill to work with someone who wants to come this far to play with us. One of the things we like to do with Silver Scene Players is, is take classic 
drama and especially classic American drama or comedy or musicals. And um, you know, this one's been around for a while. It's got some famous productions with Carol Burnett. Uh, this is a chance for Marysville people uh, to come and see, you know, a hometown production of a, a, a pretty well-known classic uh, American musical. One of the things that um, has stood out to me and has been uh, a blessing for me is that almost all the cast have been very dedicated to being on time and everything. And at the start of every rehearsal, uh, everyone gets together, we tell a few jokes, and we tell a couple of positive things that have happened recently. So that when, as we go into the two, whether they're vocal rehearsals or whether they're stage direction or uh, whatever we're doing, people are coming in with a very positive outlook for everything that's going on. And I think that nature is bringing out a, a, a flavor, if you will, uh, to this play that it really needs uh, because this play thrives on being upbeat, fast paced and energetic. And I think that it really is adding in to that. This musical production, um, it's only the second I understand that Silver Scene Players has done, but also that these benefit the community and in this case the United Way. And so I really hope the community comes out and supports uh, and they have this knowledge under their belt because it's going to be a great show and uh, you know, a way to bless other people. And it also got us a, a chance to really reach out to the community and, and get our name out there. But more important, we actually got a lot of people interested in theater. And we got a lot of people involved in the theater company. And now those people get to play, they get to do improv, they get to do all these other opportunities. And while we may not have a lot of funds to do uh, the next place, we have to be very judicial about how we do each play. We get to do so much, and that's really what I want other people to understand. That even if you have no experience, you've never done a stage before, before you've never been on stage at all before, then you have a home here. You have people here who will encourage you, who will build you up, and who will allow you that opportunity. Um, we have a, a person on this cast um, who is in his 70s, and this is his first production. I love the fact that we have a new person almost every play. To me, that is the most wonderful thing in the world. We're giving people opportunities that they may not have had before.